This is the video to show you how to put a Shimano 3-speed coaster brake wheel onto a Haley bicycle. Start with the chain in place. And then slide in. Using the coaster brake, you can adjust this yellow washer so it's where you want it to be. And then push it in place. Tighten this side a little bit, enough so you've got some tension there. And then you can push the wheel on straight and get the chain tight. Just like a regular beach cruiser. And then tighten this side as well. Before you get the wheel too tight, get the coaster brake in place. Like this. And a little... And this takes a 10 millimeter and Phillips to get secure. The coaster brake should be in place. This little yellow nut should have its teeth following the wheel in to the mouth of the dropout, and the nut's tight. Once the wheel's in place, the next step is to slide this rod into the axle, like this, and then slide this unit on top. Let it rest there, and then secure it. On three-speed tricycles, there are brake cable stops to the outside of the cage and three-speed cable stops to the inside. The shifter unit should be mostly assembled and then this cable strung through this stop. At this point, you should have this long cable coming from the handlebars onto the cage, this little black thing, and this housing. Feed the housing through with the uncapped end first, through this cable guide behind the chain ring and behind the chain guard and then down around and through the next guide. Slide through the guide on the cage as well. So you should have a situation where you have the shifter cable coming down from the handlebars and then the housing to get through this guide on the cage and the guides on the tail as well. Slide this little end piece right here through so that it can go into the cable the right, the right way. And then through this housing, which takes a minute or two. Eventually it will Pop out the end. Slide the little black cap onto the housing and then the little unit into this cable stop. And that's that. Give yourself some slack back here towards the chain ring if you need it. And then feed this little cable through this part of the unit. Just like this. Getting the cable tension right is one of the toughest parts about getting a 3-speed installed in the first place. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you're in first gear. So this may be hard to see, but there is a black thing right here with a slot and a groove in it. The cable goes into that slot and down the groove, and then behind this washer and nut. The cable should be installed so this black piece is almost touching the silver rod in first gear. Go ahead and tighten this down. I wouldn't worry about these little yellow lines. Sometimes they're helpful, but sometimes they're misleading. The next step is to cut the cable as short as possible. The best tool to use is a pair of needle nose pliers or something similar like this. Uh, the tricycles, I do not trim the cables as short as they should be, so it's easier for you to put the cable through. This wire can't stick out very much past this washer, or it'll hit the back of the cap and keep the tricycle from shifting right. Okay, start out in first gear. You shouldn't hear any clicking or anything. It should be very smooth. Shift up in a second. You should hear it start making a ratcheting sound in second gear. And then third gear is more subtle, but if you shift into third, you should feel uh, more resistance on the crank, and the wheel should start spinning faster. And then to check the downshift, it's best to start real slow, so bring it to a stop. Stop.
start by turning real slow. And down in the second. You should be able to feel a little bit of difference. And then down in the first. No more clicking at all. So when you're coasting, of course. To the cap in place. 